Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to this episode of Last Cast Adventures. Got another fan here. Hey, he's a friend of mine. Uh, but uh, it's Chris. He said he wanted to go spear fishing, and he's in the upper keys, so he had to come down to the lower keys. And, uh, well, we got some goodies. Can't see them, but there's a good amount of snapper under there. Uh, had a lot of, yeah, I'll show them later. Had a lot of encounters with nurse sharks. Um, almost got bit again, but, you know, kicked them in the face. <laughs> Didn't catch that one on camera, but uh, there was a lot of them, and a couple of kudas and cool tarpon. So we had a pretty good time. Um, definitely got some fish. He yeah. was happy. Absolutely. And uh, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy. Hit that subscribe button, uh, like button, leave a comment, and uh, always appreciate it, guys. We first started out at a deeper spot, but we didn't stay here too long because it was pretty murky. <clears throat> I missed a nice mangrove. Just the one. I tried this new spear tip and I was really hoping it was going to work well for me, but it turned out to be kind of a nuisance. I got one, big boy. Chris came over to try to help me find him, but he was pretty quick, so we followed him for as long as we could, and then we finally ended up losing him, but just couldn't get a shot on him. And by that, I mean I missed him. That shot, which should have had, but he got away. No, no, no. Hey, grouper. Grouper? Yeah. Sucks apparently. No, it came off before him, but he just bit my spear. We decided to move a little shallower and we're hoping to get away from the sharks, but unfortunately that didn't happen.
12, he just wouldn't give me a shot. <laughs> shooting and then barracudas were coming around and at one point I was surrounded by sharks and kudas just everywhere. Nice. Chris finally stuck one and I saw one that I was going to try to get but uh, I managed to mess it up and miss it so he got to watch the whole thing happen. So this snapper, I definitely feel bad for, but I make up for it in the end. So this is probably about 11:30. Okay, right, line up the shot, take the shot. Fish comes off. I'm not proud that all these fish kept coming off. Um, I changed tips back to my normal ones, but I don't know, they just kept popping off for some reason. Mangrove snapper really like to buck and go wild if you don't stone them. Get to the kayaks. Nice Jimmy. Uh, the lid blew off my cooler. Ah, you litterer. <laughs> Here, put him in mine.
good, Mangy dude. Panda. Any sharkies around? Pluto's this time. Oh, started moving the kayak so we could get a little bit closer and cover a different area and as I was swimming around I saw that one mangrove snapper that had a very long stripe down its side which was obviously the one that I had shot earlier that had ripped out so I knew at this point I had to go try to finish him so I can at least you know not leave him swimming around with that wound took off again and went under that rock. When I saw him this time, about an hour had passed by, give or take. I'm about to count, but yo, right under me, there's a couple that look good.
Nice. That's what's up. Uh -huh. I got coral right under me. And they're all there? I don't know. Get scraped up. I gotcha. Just uh, slide it off the other end of the shaft. Oh, yeah. That part's nice. Yeah, right. How many we got, dude? I'm about to count. I just fucking slapped him. <laughs> he was right in a cave, and I just dove down and grabbed on a gorgonia and freaking just shot it. Nice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two, three. On the episode that I have linked up above, um, I actually had speared this angelfish on a prior episode. Uh, it was accidental. He was in a hole, and I kind of blind shot at a schoolmaster. But I let him go, and he survived, and this is him couple months later wounds completely healed and he's just swimming around and still not concerned another 45 minutes to about an hour have gone by and I was able to relocate the same mangrove snapper near the rock he went and hid by. Times the charm. <laughs> That's that. Mm -hmm. I finally got him, and unfortunately, I stopped recording prematurely on the way back to the kayak. While I was swimming back, I had Chris pretty close behind me, as we knew there was already the nurse shark in the area. And then at one point, while I was swimming, I looked down and realized there was a nurse shark directly under me. But, like I said, I didn't catch on video. I have shot this bag group three times. Where were you? What? I had one about bite my pecker. Uh -huh. He was right. I kicked him. Dude, I'm right here. I know. He was. He was. He was right here. Oh, a shark? Yeah. No way. Yeah. I was right behind you swimming the whole time. Yeah. I saw one take off that one. Yeah, that's because I kicked him in the face. I looked back. I was like, what? What? I just. Oh gosh. And I had him above water, so he just was coming up because he knew. And then while we were anchored and taking a break, trying to wait out the sharks, this big old tarpon kept coming and swimming by. So, of course, I had to hop in the water and film him for a little bit. He was easily 100 plus pounds. I mean, this was a very, very big fish. Um, probably 150, but yeah, just kind of swam by and obviously not going to spear him but wanted to get some cool footage. Shots. 